Virgo. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading. Hmm. Three cards already have come out the deck, very softly and very gently, so... A soft, gentle approach, I think, is going to be required in this situation. Your first card, the Six of Cups. A justice. And the Ace of Wands. So the Six of Cups can be someone coming back from the past. If you're if you're thinking of a Libra, Virgo, that could be coming back from the past, that could be happening. But the Six of Cups also asks us to release the past. And it is also about receiving gifts. Blessings from the universe or literally gifts from other people. There could be a Libra coming in to gift you something, possibly an opportunity. Because with this Ace of Wands here, that is suggesting a beginning. An opportunity to start anew are the words that I'm getting. Okay, next row, current energy. Mm. The Page of Cups and the King of Pentacles. The Page of Cups often is about love. It, it often is communication from a potential lover. The King of Pentacles is about being wise. Wise with your time, wise with your energy, wise in where you are investing things. Money as well, but uh, this isn't a money reading so far. This is a relationship reading. For some, there is someone coming back from the past who wants to start over again. For others, this is someone new. with the king of pentacles in the dead center there of your current energy wiseness wisdom is essential of the world something to celebrate i get the feeling The world card is a completion of a cycle. It is also a portal. Also with the world card right next to the Ace of Wands right at the bottom, someone wants to have sex with you. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is about leaving legacies. Now, you know I said earlier, it's not a money reading so far. This is one of the best money cards that you can get. This is the best card that money can buy. It denotes having everything you ever wanted in your life. It's the best abundance card that there is. Something that you might have to fight for. Hmm. Challenges. I think there are challenges coming up in your future. Possibly family challenges. Challenges. 
Now make sure you're not seduced into something that you don't want to do. If someone comes in showering you with money, make sure that that doesn't seduce you into being with them when that isn't necessarily what you want for yourself. Okay, so this Six of Cups has been clarified by the devil. So watch out for someone coming back from the past with negative intentions. They might shower you with money, buy you diamond rings and things like that. Flowers, chocolates, roses, dinners, vacations. All those kinds of things. Don't be seduced by that. Don't draw attention to your weaknesses. So in other words, in this reading, don't sleep with them just because you're impressed by their flashiness. The Eight of Pentacles with the page of cups so there is some work that needs to be done when it comes to your heart and how you feel about yourself to um, magnetize the right person towards you romantically So if it's a Taurus, that situation needs to be ended. Ten of Swords. With the World card. So there is definitely like a skin of yours that needs to be shed to step into a new life, a new situation. If you go back to the past, you're just going to experience the same things again in a cyclical manner. The death card on the world. So there is definitely a rebirth message there. <clears throat> So the Ten of Pentacles can mean sometimes education and learning, and it means a lot of things, the Ten of Pentacles. So I do think with the Hermit showing up, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, there is an opportunity to learn. This is this has all been a lesson. Yeah, with the Five of Wands, you have the Nine of Swords. It's right next to the Ten of Swords. So I'm strongly encouraging you to not go back and repeat the same cycle, because then you'll be showing the universe that you haven't learnt that lesson of choosing money over love, whatever resonates for you. And with the Queen of Wands, you have the Seven of Wands. Standing out from the crowd. And, and refusing to be seduced. Okay, I'm going to pull you one card. From the last deck. Three of Pentacles, quality work. You already did have a work energy showing up in your reading with the Eight of Pentacles. Quality work and the Hanged Man. So think about where you actually really want to put your energy. 
because I don't think that you want to put it into going round and round in a circle over the same old cycles relationship wise I like the three of pentacles though it's a good card okay Virgo thanks for being here don't forget to check your moon and rising sign and goodbye